Welcome to this demonstration of Cohesity's data management cluster deployments. In this video, I'm going to showcase the simplified deployment and configuration process of a 32-node Cohesity cluster. Simplicity is one of the key value proposition Cohesity offers to organizations from both deployment and management aspects. This particular demonstration is based on a real customer deployment where 28 out of the 32 available nodes will be instantaneously configured within a single workflow where then the additional four nodes will be utilized as part of a scale-out exercise to add into the cluster at a later time. Now the appliances have been racked and stacked and also connected to the individual networks where they need to be accessed and we're going to start the configuration process from this point on. So once all the nodes have been racked and stacked and connected to the network, uh, very quickly you'll be able to sign in to one individual node. As you can see here, I'm logging in. I can validate the number of chassis, the number of nodes, and see the information that I need to use to get started. Here are all 32 nodes. Like I said before, I'm going to deselect four of them so that I can use them for a later exercise. Here's the verification of all these nodes that are being configured. You saw the one that I'm actually connecting to. And now let's continue to the configuration of the cluster. Now, at this particular point here, this is what we call a one, two, three process. This is step number two, where we're basically uh, adding the specific information uh, about the name of the cluster, uh, domain name here. I'm uh, masquerading some of that information as it pertains to a real customer. Uh, this is a real production deployment and not a lab sort of approach here, which is very different. So this is the experience of what you have to go through with this type of a deployment, and spe specifically being this kind of this particular size and large. You can choose whether or not you want to enable software encryption, right? Not depending on just hardware-based encryption on drives or things of that nature, or whether or not you want to enable this particular configuration for FIBS compliance. In this case, we didn't. Now you can see that the configuration process of those 28 nodes is ongoing. Uh, and very quickly, I sped some of this uh, time up so that we don't have to wait too long uh, for the configuration to be completed. But just in the event that you want to look at some more details, you can see actually what's going on and you can identify uh, the different processes that are taking place in the background, uh, all the verification, all the validation that's taking place uh, in order to successfully and error prone uh, and you know, avoid any sort of uh, misconfiguration settings with the uh, configuration that's going on. So you can actually track it if you want to uh, and see very quickly um, how the same functions are being applied at scale across all 28 nodes that are being part of this cluster. Very, very useful and powerful and simple uh, to achieve this. Once this is done, you can very quickly go to one of the IP addresses that are available, log back into the cluster, accept the EULA, and license or add the license key, uh, the Cohesity license key to now gain access to the actual cluster. So very quickly you submit, you see now that things are somewhat ready. Now let's define the actual cluster and the nodes that will be participating as part of this particular partition as we call it, but it's basically the, um, the actual uh, configuration of the cluster. So here again, some unique information which I will masquerade so that's not publicly available for anyone to see. Uh, we'll provide the host name information. And when it comes to providing a virtual IP one of the things that are very useful here is the fact that we don't have to individually add an IP for each one of the nodes. So you can see here that I'm adding a range of IP addresses that will be automatically provided to those uh, to the nodes that I selected within the cluster. And here they are. You can see quickly that there's an IP address automatically assigned to all the nodes. And we're going to say add all the nodes to this particular cluster or partition as we call it. Each one of those nodes is identified here. Uh, and I can actually now just very quickly select all of the nodes that I want to associate or make part of that particular cluster in this particular time. So that's something that very quickly I can select them all. Simply hit at host, create cluster. And within seconds, you are about ready to go and completely configure a 28 node cohesity cluster. It doesn't get any easier than that. Again, simplicity is key. Thank you for watching.